Hi guys and uh, welcome, back to this, uh, welcome back to this tutorial. Uh, in this section we'll start to display the objects collected in the second scene. So the idea is uh, that uh, if you look at the second scene, so it's called level 2, uh, we are collecting uh, petrol cans. And the idea really in this case is to, instead of having a message saying you've collected, you have collected one or two petrol cans, we're going to display, and again I'm going to pan my view just to show you a, bit, a little bit better here, we're going to display a few squares in the uh, bottom left corner symbolizing uh, the number of petrol cans collected. So to do so, uh, I'm going to go to uh, canvas, or game object, sorry, and UI, and then I'm going to create a raw image. Okay, and again you can see that by default my raw image is a uh, white square. Now what you could do is you can see there is a, um, a section here called texture. You could drag and drop any image of your choice uh, there and it will basically display it on screen. So again, uh, we might do that later, but for now uh, what you can do is take this guy here. So again, um, give it a name first. I'm going to call it item 1. And again, uh, drag and drop it. To bottom left corner of the window okay if you look at the game view you can see that it is right there and I can change its color uh, again here so that it's a bit more visible so again I could use blue for instance so you can see that now it's there and again in the game view it is displayed there as well and what I will do is I'm going to display uh, so I think it's three petrol cans that I need uh, so one two three perfect or four actually so what I will do is again uh, take this item here and duplicate it and move the duplicate to the right duplicate it again and duplicate it a third time okay so again we have item one I'm going to change the name to item two item three and item four Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four different items, and again, the 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 goal for this section is to first um, deactivate these items, and uh, once this is done, whenever we pick up um, a petrol can, we're going to activate one of those items to eventually have those three or four items displayed on screen. So let's go to our script called collect objects. So uh, again, for uh, collect objects. We're going to declare uh, different game objects. So game object item 1, item 2, item 3, and item 4. Okay? And again, what we will do is start to deactivate those. So again, we we'll to link them first. So again, the, before I do that, I just need to make sure that I am in the right scene. So again, I'm going to look at the scene uh, manage, uh, manager dot get uh, active scene dot uh, name and I'm going to make sure that it is level 2 otherwise basically those items just don't exist in the first scene so it just won't work okay and again I think I have one too many uh, equal sign perfect and again when, what I'm going to say is item 1 equals game object uh, dot find and again look for item 1 copy paste several times oops sorry Okay, and again, that's going to be item 2, 3, and 4. Okay, and again, the same here, 2, 3, and 4. So again, uh, I'm just linking this variable with the actual object present in the scene. That's the first thing. And what I will do is, uh, for these items, again, item 1.setActive. Uh, to false. So again, I'll just make sure that these items are not activated, so that, that, that they are not visible basically. So again, it's going to be the same for 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so I'm going to save that, uh, go back to Unity, and once this is done, again, let this uh, script uh, compile, and uh, again, play my scene, and just make sure that uh, the actual um, boxes are not displayed. So again, uh, there is a small check I need to do is, as you can see here, I wrote lev2 as opposed to level2. So again, I'm just going to make sure the, the, the name is correct. I'm going to save that and then go back to Unity and play my scene. So after the code is compiled and uh, hopefully now, this time, we should see that all the different boxes have disappeared. So again, I'm going to play my scene and So again, the box have disappeared. You can see here that they are basically 
present in the scene but they are deactivated okay so this is working so the next uh, part of the code will be to basically depending on the, the, the number of box collected to display one two three or even four of those uh, boxes so again um, where are we so uh, yes that's where we are so again here you can see that um, um, Now, interesting enough, um, I never increased the value of number of box collected for some reason. Uh, just one second there. Um, NB uh, cans. Oh yeah, there you go. So we are here. Okay. So again, uh, here we are in the code where we are collecting the cans. So what I need to do now is uh, check. So again, let's say if um, uh, n B cans collected uh, is one. Then basically item one dot uh, set axis will be true, and we're going to do the exact same for the other uh, one. So again, if it's three, four, uh, so two, three, and four, and again it's going to be two, three. And four here. Okay, so again, here what we're doing is if uh, we collect one can, the first one will be displayed, two cans, the second one, the second one will be displayed, and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Now we can use a, you could, we could have used a switch case for this. Actually, it might have been handy, but this code will work relatively well as well. The switch case would have probably have saved us a bit of code as well. Okay, and uh, maybe added a bit more clarity. So again, uh, we can do that later. So again, let's go back to Unity, check that this code has been compiled properly, and once this is done, we can play the scene and check that after collect, collect collecting sorry uh, a petrol can. That that um, the corresponding uh, image is displayed on screen. So again, I'm going to move forward, <coughs> collect one, you can see that it's appeared, two, and three. Okay, so it's been <coughs> this is working relatively well. So again, as you can see, thanks to the code, we have managed to display an image uh, that is uh, based on the number of items collected. So again, this is working relatively well. And um, just to remind you as well that these different items here are raw images. You can always, if you want to, change the image by importing, by downloading an image from the internet, and then uh, importing it inside Unity by dragging and dropping this image in the project window. And then to drag and drop again this image in the, the section called texture that will display the image right there.